the first, I think the first line of skepticism people have when I, when I think, when I make an argument that religion is essential, um, they don't see what, like, they don't see what the negatives are right away. And one of the things that I would say, if you look at a map of the United States by birth rate, conspicuously, I think only Utah now has enough children to replace its current population. And Utah, of course, is the Mormon state. And so I'm amused because I, A, I'm not, I'm not religious, even if I'm going to make the case for religion, but B, if I was to be religious, I wouldn't be Mormon. I think it's, I don't want to insult Mormons, but it's, it's a, a, a very, it's, if it's hard to believe Christianity, it's even harder to believe in Mormonism. And I've, I've condescended to Mormons. You know, I've like watched all of the South Park Mormon episodes and laughed my, my head off. But here, here they might get the last laugh because in a hundred years, I'm pretty sure there will still be Mormons uh, just based on, on how their society is, how Utah is cohered and, and, and the children that they actually managed to produce. I'm still confident there will be Jews in the world in a hundred years. I'm confident there will be Muslims. I'm not so confident there will be secular progressive liberals. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to, uh, the, the, the contradiction I see in liberalism is that we've created a value system so good that, at least in our eyes, but we're, we're completely incapable of passing it on. Um, Literally and uh, yeah. spiritually. And I mean, surely if you believe for example, that, that gender roles are, are a terrible thing and the source of all evil and ought to be abolished and women should have all, and I, I, think, I think there's a case to be made for that, of course, and that women should have rights equal to men and women. Surely you should be interested in having those rights enshrined into the future. And I, I don't see that interest. <laughs> I mean, in a hundred years, Europe will, will, will not be as feminist or as secular as it is right now. Why is that? Because they're not having children. Because <laughs> the people who believe these things just don't have children.